if so, this is a new tutorial video. This hair I did receive from March Queen Hair Mall and I'll link all of the information below for you guys. On the back of their card, they do have washing instructions. They, said, they did send me four bundles of their color number 27 in Body Wave, two 20s and 18, a 16 inch, and I do believe it's a 16 or 14 inch closure. Along with that, I'm going to tone the hair using the Lush Luminous Blonde by Mark Daniels. I have the shampoo along with that. I also do have the conditioner. I found out this product from my just favorite YouTuber, which is Passion Jones. You can definitely check out her channel. So this time around, I'm just going to fill up my sink with some warm water and I'm going to just saturate the hair with the water along with the shampoo and I'm just going to allow it to sit in the purple shampooed water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Normally what you want to do is wash it once and then use the shampoo so that it open up the cuticles and follicles and then do it a second time with the shampoo. But this stuff is not cheap so I'm just going to use it sparingly. As you guys see the color did change and it's more or less a little bit paler which I do like. I didn't really want it too brassy. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to use the conditioner on the hair and allow it to sit on the hair bundles for about 15 minutes so that way it can just soften it up. So I do like the outcome of the color. I was trying to get something a little bit different this time around. So once I finished um, rinsing it out, I did allow it to dry overnight on some hangers. These are just hangers I saved from my store. Now it's time to go in and darken the roots of the closure. And I'm just using the Revlon Color Silk Dark Brown Box Hair Dye. You guys see me use this a lot. It's really cheap. It's like $3 at Walmart. And what I do is I take sections at a time and I do use a mascara brush just from some old makeup you make sure you rinse it out really well so that way you don't get too much hair dye or any on the actual closure and you just want to take small sections at a time and just take your time and do it very slow and don't dip too much of the dark or the the actual hair dye onto your mascara wand you can use a brush if you want to but I just prefer the mascara wand especially when it comes to the roots of any closure or frontal because that way you're not putting too much on the brush and it doesn't get through. Now keep in mind there will be a little bit of product on the closure but nothing like you could only imagine if you were to use like an actual dye brush. So my suggestion is to get yourself a good mascara wand, something that has enough bristles on it. Make sure you rinse it out really good and you're not going to be reusing it for your makeup and just use it for your closures or frontals. The cotton that you do see me using here is just to separate the hair so that way none of the hair dye gets on any of the hair that I don't want. And you can pick these up at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. I don't remember what they're called, but I think they're called like cotton coils, something like that. It just comes on this long rock reel and you just cut them accordingly. As cheap as I am, trust and believe, these pieces that you do see me using right here, I have used them over a couple of times because it's just a little bit of hair dye. It dries up and you still can use the reuse the cotton so I'm cheap so I've had that box for probably like about two and a half years so I'm going to do this on the entire closure and like you see I'm taking small sections at a time and just doing the actual darkening of the roots a lot of people would ask me why don't I just buy the bundles with the roots already darkened and the closure already darkened well it's because um, normally when you see the closures darkened on any of the hairs it's really a lot and for me I don't like my um, roots to be too dark meaning I don't really want like inches of darkness I just want it to look like it just has grown out so I like very minimal dark roots so I just really prefer to do it myself especially if it's like a light color wig I'll just do it myself I really prefer the roots to be very very minimal not like a huge amount of dark roots like you do normally see normally you'll see like two to three inches of or three inches of dark root i can't stand that so i just like it to be a little bit less I, and but the main thing for me is i like for it to have dark roots i really don't like to wear blonde hair without any dark roots because i just feel like it really doesn't look natural so for me, I just like to use the mascara one and I really prefer to darken it myself. So as you guys see, I am just darkening the roots with the mascara one and I will let it sit on the hair for like an hour. The hair is, um, it just easily dies. You don't have to worry about the hair ruining from the hair dye. It's just for the roots. You can leave it on for an hour, hour and a half. Sometimes um, I'll leave it on for like two depending on the color that I'm going for as well. 
and yeah that's about it revlon color silk is super inexpensive you can get this at walmart i wouldn't suggest going to cvs or walgreens because they will charge you double the price um but yeah family dollar or Wal or walmart is really a great place to pick up some really good inexpensive hair dyes the color that i used like i said was a dark brown just to mimic my own roots to a t now it's time to darken the bundles or the roots of the bundles. For me, I do like the roots of the bundles to be darkened as well. The same concept, very minimal. I don't like a lot of darkness on it because I just want it to look as if it has just grown out. So I'm actually using the same exact dye. This is the same one. I think I use about two boxes because you don't need a lot. Or Yeah, like two boxes is all I use on the hair. Um, and this is the brush that I was talking about. For this, I definitely will not use the mascara wand because, oh my God, I'd be there forever. So I do prefer to use like the bigger brushes. And I do take the hair dye and I do put it in a bowl so that makes distributing a lot easier. But as you guys see right here, I'm just going to use some hair clips because for me, I like the hair to be folded and doubled. So that way, it just takes less time, less space. I do put plastic onto my countertop to make sure that I'm protecting the surface. However, if a little bit does get on your surface, you can always use like some Clorox bleach or bleach spray to remove the, um, the, the hair dye and it'll come off within minutes. So I'm just flipping it over and just, or I'm on the same side actually, I'm just doing the roots. This just makes it look like if the wind blew that my hair just grew out just a little bit from the actual hair dye. And I do this with each bundle. I'll put the clips on them and I'll darken the roots. So also guys, I wanna tell you that I am going to be putting highlights in this hair and I'm also going to be using the dark, um, the Revlon Color Silk Box Hair Dye, but not dark brown, of course, this time I decided to use a different color. And unfortunately, um, my battery died when I was highlighting the hair, but here's the main thing. When I did the roots of the hair, as you guys see here, I darkened the roots for the closure and the actual bundles. I let it sit on the hair for about an hour and then I rinsed it off and I let the hair dry overnight. I didn't condition it, I just let it dry overnight. And then the next day I went in to do the highlights. So you wanna do them separate times and you definitely want to do the roots before you do any highlighting. So that way the hair does not bleed or the dye does not bleed onto the hair. So first thing you wanna do is darken the roots of any hair that you're going to do, whether it be the closures, the frontals, or the bundles, you wanna do that first. Allow it to sit on the hair for like about an hour. Rinse it out and allow it to air dry overnight. You don't have to condition it because you're going to do the highlight dye to the next day. So you definitely don't want to condition it. It's not a good idea to condition it until you're definitely finished with all of the hair. So as you guys see, I'm almost done with the roots. And as you see, the dye is turning darker because it's just oxidizing and it's getting to its dark brown color. Okay, so now it's time to take this closure off and rinse it out. As you guys see, I'm just gonna remove those little cotton coils. And it looks really black in person, but it's actually dark brown. It doesn't look this black once you rinsed it out and it's air dried. It does get a little bit lighter, but you know, it is hair dyed, so that's how it looks just from it being wet. And as you guys see, just a little bit of the hair dye did get on the closure, nothing major. Just from using now this right here is the hair that I used which was the medium ash brown and as you guys can see I didn't get a chance to film me doing the highlights but this is what it looked like it was so bad I did not like the color the first time I did this on my other blonde wig I used more of a chestnut red and it came out really nice but this oh my god I let the hair dye sit out for like an hour before I even was able to use it because I was helping my kids do something. So it turned like this purplish brown and it just became this horrible color. So what I had to do is I ended up looking on YouTube and I got some vitamin C pills and some of the Equate brand Head and Shoulders. I went ahead and blended up the vitamin C pills along with that. I did do a mixture with the Equate um, head and shoulders shampoo before even doing that i did have to wet the hair so i saturated the bundles in really hot water for like about five minutes and by the time i was done with that about 65 percent of the hair dye was removed from the actual bundles so once you scorch the hair with warm water it will remove some of the dye but when you're doing it with stanchions you can do it as hot as you can take it so the hot water actually helped remove a majority of the hair dye and then what i went ahead and did is i sat the hair in the mixture of vitamin c pills and head and shoulders 
shampoo mixed together for about an hour and 45 minutes and I did wrap it with a plastic bag over top of the bowl so that way it would penetrate the hair and keep it warm and within an hour and 45 minutes I did rinse it out and this is the outcome that I have now you will see I went ahead and I used my pressed powder which is this one right here by Too Faced for the closure and I did sew combs in it so there are two combs in the front and two in the back and this time I just used the regular spandex dome cap it's not the mesh one because the mesh ones I have are extra large and they're really too big so I have to do a lot to make them fit But baby, I'm up and I'm thinking about you, about you Get you on the line and see if it's okay if I could come through, to come through Feeling kinda lonely, I think I'm needing a dose of my blood, of my blood Just left the studio, I can be there in 10 minutes, that your time Seriously, it is 12.07 midnight and I'm still up doing videos. Like, I have recorded videos all day long. Uh, well, really not all day, but I did start super late. And, like, now I still have, like, three more to do. Like, anyway, let's just get into this March Queen hair. I like the way it turned out. It turned out so nice. Like, I'm so happy because, you know, I have my other blonde wig that I wear, like, all the time now. And I love it so much. And I was like, dang, I got to hold on to that wig because I worked hard on that wig just as well. And it's one of my favorite wigs. Um, And this one right here, let me tell y'all. Now I am so happy because I have two favorite blonde wigs. Like, seriously. Like, this one is shorter than my first one. Um, and the colors might differ just a little bit. This one is 20 inches and the other one is like 22 inches. It is a a different color in it. It has like, it's a different color. It's also a 27, but so for one, it's part on the opposite side. Um, so it's probably is like 
they're probably really close in color but this one is a little bit longer they're, they're, they're very similar but i love this one just as much so now that i have two i'm like really really happy because oh, i ain't got to like save that wig well i can save it because i'm gonna save it but i don't have to like wear it sparingly you know what i mean i got this one let me tell y'all i didn't spray a whole bunch of hairspray on this i guess they got so much head and shoulders on it that it's like not today girl not today so did it shed it did shed but let me tell you this hair is bomb as hell, bomb as hair, because as much stuff as I had put this hair through before I could even make the wig, I'm going to say March Queen got some bomb ass hair, and y'all best to make sure y'all get some, because for real, I have went through a lot of stuff. It has been toned three times. I will not tone, but shampoo toned. It has been dyed. It has been undyed. It has been really scorched with hot water. Let me tell you, and the hair is still pleasantly soft. So I'm saying like this is really like some good hair. All right. This is some good hair. So like this is like my new favorite color right now. Girl, loving it. So y'all seen what I did with the Sharpie market. That's just a temporary fix until I go back in with my hair dye um, and just um, darken the roots. But I don't feel like doing all that right now. Um, the Sharpie marker will last for a minute, like a minute, minute as, until I rewash it. And then once it starts to fade and I notice it starts to fade, then that's when I will go back in with my hair dye and darken it and, and only lighten because of me with the hot, hot water. So that's what took the dark color out of it. But for a temporary fix that worked just fine. I like this color a lot. Um, yeah, I, I like blonde hair. Like, I think I'm just going to stay being blonde because it's gonna be like my new signature like color not too blonde but number 27 is perfect for me for you girl so definitely let me know what you think of march queen you could definitely check them out we'll post their info for you guys below and if you guys want to see a tutorial on how i remove the color i will definitely show you guys on not this one because i ain't about to ruin this one again but on another unit so i love you guys stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think of this one right here and i will see you guys soon I've been